So I, I am a Facebook software developer. I uh, brought uh, parts for IoT uh, SDK uh, to the maker's fair. We have quite a few of different IoT devices uh, that work with our uh, SDK. Uh, SDK is available uh, open source on the web, on the GitHub. If you go to parts.com uh, to documentation, you could click on the quick guides and select embedded C or Arduino and uh, get the SDK from there. There is also demo applications uh, written for Android and iOS uh, that are pretty much uh, very deep applications that you could uh, quickly uh, modify for your own needs. And the patch itself is a very nice, uh, very cheap service. It's actually free for personal use. So uh, we wanted to connect as much embedded devices uh, as possible because um, the main problem is embedded devices. You need to be expert, uh, expert at many things uh, to do the embedded development. We wanted to simplify that because we ran into the problem when a lot of people knew something, uh, one thing, but didn't know all of it. And it's really hard to make it right uh, in all of the stages. So we created SDK to kind of get around it. It uh, provides the security of uh, secure sockets. So it has secure sockets uh, for the push and HTTPS requests for the pass requests. So it's pretty much uh, like everything is secure and you could build. For example, you want to uh, create applications that waters your plants. But being water conscious with uh, this drought, uh, you want to do um, basically not to always water the plants, but only when the ground goes dry. For uh, this specifically, lots of work for me, uh, different systems. Uh, Linux, uh, Raspberry Pi, embedded Linux, Arduino Uno, and RTOS, via RTOS, which is CC3200, Atmel SMP21. And right now we are going to support pure Arduino, which is Arduino Zero. So, like four platforms.